Hey everybody, welcome back to Recordology. Okay, today we're gonna take a look at a bizarre record. Like I said last night, like I hinted to, I came across something that's kind of unique. Actually, it's very unique, I think, and very bizarre. It's a record that has nothing to do with music. Well, maybe it has something to do with music. I mean, I have really no idea what I have here. So this is the Shorthand Records Dictation Disc. And the idea is that it helps you practice your shorthand skills. Most people don't even know what shorthand is. And I have to admit, I may be one of those people. I mean, shorthand, I'm assuming, is a way to take notes that is not completely word for word. I, I really don't know, 100%. DCC Shorthand Records, album number one, 60, 70, 80, and 90. How to select your record. If your speed is 50 to 60 words per minute, you would choose number one, which is what we have here. And we have an elegant yellow rose, which I believe is the color of friendship when it comes to roses. Some pencils and the notepad there. Time to get busy. Approved by leading educators. Now... I will tell you this, for those that, by what I just said about not knowing, you know, the details of shorthand, think I'm just a young pup, which I hope I am. I mean, I don't want to not be a young pup, but I do remember going through typing class with actual typewriters, and I remember that my word per minute was not even up to 50 or 60. I think I was like 35, 40 on a good day, so definitely not one of my skills, typing. But yeah, I do remember we had typewriters and you know that was a skill that you know well it really ended up helping us we just didn't know the machinery would change how to practice with dictation discs important please read the instructions carefully before you practice your dictation discs before you practice your dictation discs practicing at higher speeds with the phonograph record you start writing shorthand faster the very first day you practice this is so because you practice with letters 10 to 20 words faster than you can write. This is easy because you can repeat the same letter as often as you wish until you can write it comfortably at the faster speed. Interesting. Dictation Disc Company, Madison Avenue, New York. So are they reading? I, originally, I thought, and again, I didn't look at this. I, when I get stuff for the show, I try not to look at it too carefully before the show because I want to discover it with you in real time. Initially, I thought it was music to help you, you know, type and write faster. Is it typing or writing? It's got to be writing because it has pencils on the front. You guys are probably shaking your heads. It's got to be, it's got to be shorthand. So it's writing with a pencil. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean for this to be like comedic because I'm, I have no idea what I'm talking about. Okay, let's take a look at the record. Now, something like this obviously is going to be pressed by some other company. Sometimes they'll say like RCA special products on there, on the label or something. In this case, I don't see anything. It just says DCC Dictation Disc Company. Who knows? Speed 60 and 70, wham, words a minute. Shorthand dictation for speed building. 33 and a third microgroup, side A, record number one. So let's go ahead and place our record on the LP3, which is beautifully backlit right now, with some Christmas lights. Am I late on having Christmas lights or am I early? Let you be the judge. Okay, 12 inch disc. Let's go ahead and see what we got here. I'm hoping this is copyright free and assuming so. Really curious what's on this disc. By the time I read the comments, the I'll know everything about shorthand. Merchandise shipped as ordered has become a costly problem. And insofar as the goods mentioned in your letter of November 5 are concerned, we are asking your cooperation. These goods were delivered to you delivered. some months ago 
in exact conformity with your order. If they... This is what it sounds like in my head when I'm reading something over my head. When I'm reading something at a higher reading level. <laughs> what you had expected, we feel that in all fairness to us, they should have been returned promptly. Oftentimes, when delay in returning goods occurs, the styles are sold out and delayed returns then become odd lots. This is interesting. So basically, fish. your brain starts to, you know, adjust to a faster speed and allows you to write things down at a faster rate. I'm just reading through some of the stuff on the back of the record. Very bizarre. Um, let's go ahead and scoot forward a little bit. I don't know if it gets faster or not. Dear sir, your check in settlement of our statement of January 31 was received today. We thank you for your prompt payment. Now, it's an interesting thought. It's an interesting thought. This is from another era, obviously. Nowadays, you know, and so the executive would bring their secretary or assistant into their office and say, take this down, take this down. And I'm just thinking out loud here. If I'm completely wrong, please tell me in the comments below. But I know you will. <laughs> That's how I learn things. Um, and then he just starts rambling. And the person who's tasked with taking notes needs to know shorthand so they can get all of the information down accurately. And when I say this is from another era, not even talking about the social dynamic that may have been involved, but thinking about the technology. I mean, dictation, I mean, this is a dictation disc, so okay, it's all coming to me now, so dictation the person's dictating things and you're using shorthand to write okay it's all making sense dictation would be okay sorry it's been a long day <laughs> you guys knew this instantly when you clicked on the video and i'm just learning it but dictaphone you know different kinds of technology uh magnetic tape little reel-to-reel -reel tapes things to you know that would take the need for dictation in this form via shorthand out of the equation. But originally you would need to have these skills. And I would think that even though the technology would be made available to people, you know, through tape recorders, through dictaphones, whatever, that this may be a skill that was required that you, even though the technology existed to record audio, you still, you know, it looked good on your resume to have, the ability to, you know, do shorthand and take down dictation fast. I can see that being a good skill. Plus, when you record it, you still have to write, you have to play it back and record it. And um, there you go. Now, I've known people that for a career have done medical dictation back in the day on micro cassette recorders with a foot pedal operation. And you can listen at a much faster speed than you can talk. So they would get really good at taking dictation down off of the disc into a computer, you know, digitizing in a sense, the dictation off of these micro cassettes. And you could listen to it, you could, you could hear stuff a lot faster, you know, than you can. And then you got to the point where they could actually type that fast. Pretty cool skill to have, pretty cool skill to have. But again, this is something that, you know, this is kind of lost on the current generations that this, it was even a thing, but an interesting, interesting record to say the least. It would be amusing to kind of listen to, you know, what they're actually saying in those dictation lessons, although it's kind of painful to listen to it. I'm sure that once you get up to these higher speeds, it sounds more like regular speech because I doubt anybody would give you the luxury, if that's what you would want to call it, of speaking that slowly. Oops, let's not destroy my stylus today. Let's listen to a little more.
in which the retail store is located. <laughs> However, since someone must pay the freight and the seller cannot afford to do so, the charges are added to the cost of the merchandise. <laughs> we do not believe. One of my favorite things possible. about vintage records and whatnot is anytime you get the opportunity to hear somebody talk that is from, you know, the 50s and 60s, there's different in, you know, there's different inflection that's placed on the words. There's different, you know, pronunciation. There's accents and and whatnot that's really entertaining to hear. I love it. My dad and I both love the classic, you know, you have to have been a smoker for, you know, at least three decades to get this, you know, deep, you know, booming voice. It's the voice when you watch, like, uh, uh, Disney cartoons, especially especially the goofy cartoons, where they're announcing, and to become a good skier, one must, you know, obtain the best skis. Which, a little trivia fact, if you ever wonder why they did all those goofy cartoons where he doesn't talk, but there's just a narrator, there actually was either a strike or the actor wasn't available. There was some reason why they had to come up with that idea of, you know, doing the narrator and you just see Goofy doing all these things and, and messing things up hilariously. But, okay, guys, almost 12 minutes about a dictation disc. I think we should cut it. What do you guys say? <laughs> Thank you so much for being there. Thank you so much for watching. And there's nothing to buy off of this video, just purely for your entertainment. I sure appreciate it. Thank you for being there, guys. Have an awesome evening. Happy record hunting. And we will see you tomorrow.